Welcome back. It's another one of those days. The last time I did this video, uh, it got, I think it's at 186,000 views in about eight days. I only have one location today. It's a rental house. I've done a lot of videos in this house. Hopefully we can go through the house and I can show you the bathrooms that I've repaired. Remember that one where it's leaking through the ceiling? The full basement bathroom that I built from scratch. Uh, we're gonna take a look at that. Uh, did a whole bunch of lighting in there and a ton of just repair work. You're not gonna wanna miss what I'm getting paid to do today. It's worse or better depending on who you are. One of the items, actually two of the items are very, very simple. Uh, they are basic home maintenance items. The property is owned by wealthy people that don't even live in this state. They pay a property management company to handle everything. Tenants do not lift a finger. So you're not gonna wanna miss what I'm gonna get paid to do today. It's better than reinstalling a smoke detector that a tenant pulled off the ceiling. It's dark in here. Whoa, look at those lights. Whoever installed the lights in this room was a professional. God, these lights are just everywhere. Wonder who did that. The first thing I gotta do is install a grab bar on this wall here. Those of you who follow the channel know that I did not remodel this bathroom, uh, but I did a repair to the remodel. I'm gonna link that video below. It'll probably come out here around my head like a little comes out. I'm gonna bring it down close and just give you a close up of what the repair looks like. Three, three years later, I think. Three, three and a half years later. Um, they did not do the waterproofing at all correctly in here. And I had to, they didn't even have a correct drain here. But this whole square I had to take out redo the drain looks pretty nasty looks like no one's been in there and cleaned this thing at all caulking hasn't been addressed in a long time going down into the basement Let's see where the light switches i remember the whole switching around here was all messed up who remembers this place dimmers put those in they still work holy cow Okay, there's some closet light that doesn't work. You said a square closet light that doesn't work. Okay, I'm gonna guess it's this one. So this light here isn't coming on with the switch. This used to be a completely unfinished basement. Um, I built this entire thing. Everything you see here, from the walls, the texture, the paint, the shelves, the doors. I think I had to do some custom action on this one here. The ceiling. So I'll link the video for this in the description below. It'll also come out on a card. I, I did this, I think, four or five years ago. I remember bringing my little dog with me uh, right after I got her at like nine, ten weeks old. She sat right here while I was working. Now I always start with the most difficult thing first, and that would be the shower grab bar. So let's go down here and see if we can find the studs. Okay, before we get too far into this, whenever I work on rental houses, there is so many questions from people who, I believe their questions are real, but they just have a complete disconnect with the reality of how the rental industry works, how property management works, how real estate investment works. I'm gonna have a dedicated video on my business YouTube channel. It's called The Handyman Business. If you're interested in this at all, all your answers are there. I haven't advertised in going on three years now. It's been three years since I've handed out a business card, probably two years since I've taken a new customer. I have zero new customers. I only work for repeat customers. This house here is just one property that this management company that I do a lot of work for manages. I've been here for five years, making that money, doing simple things. I'm gonna quick get this bar installed. Now here are the steps, between 33 and 36 inches up. You want the grab bar screwed into the stud. People like when I say stud on, uh, in the comments for some reason. 
being a handyman or home repair specialist, whatever you want to call us, some people call me the Easter Bunny, you need to know how to find studs. So uh, that's a closet behind there. Um, I can easily find the studs from that side. It's a little bit more difficult with the tile on here. This is an exterior wall. There's no bump out here to house the plumbing. So this wall here is the same as the surface inside the closet. What I can do is I can find the studs from the closet side, measure out, and then start measuring my 16 inches. Come back over to this side, do a little knockity knock on the wall, verify it, mark it, drill it, screw it, caulk it, collect. I don't work by the hour. All my customers know me well enough that they're comfortable with my pricing and I charge them whatever it takes. This could take more than just what I just described. Um, so I build everybody after the work is all done. Go over to the Handyman Business, you'll get all your answers. Oh, and stay tuned. The last project, the last, it's not even a repair. It's not, it's just silliness, but I'm gonna get paid to do it. The answer of why I will get paid to do it is gonna be on the Handyman Business YouTube channel. <laughs>
pushes it in, seats it. I did tell you that I got to uh, get the set screw for this. Put this back on. Yes, getting paid to do this. You got lucky. Ace Hardware was like a two minute drive down the street. I've got the replacement set screw. Got my Allen head. Right there is a set screw. Kind of a pain in the butt because you gotta get it close to the wall. So you, you can't rent a house out without a TP holder in your master bathroom. You just can't. This house is probably gonna rent for around 30 grand a year. And paying me four or five hundred bucks to come in here and make it right, to get the people in here and to get the people not to complain, it's almost insignificant to them. Look at that. I even put a little point onto the thing. Look at that. Now I snapped a picture of everything else. This is the last thing I gotta take a picture of. Send it off. I text them how much, they Venmo me the money, and that's it. My next task is to deliver keys. Got a set of keys from that loft, that downtown loft, that 1800s loft. I have those keys still. I have to deliver them to the office. Part of what I'm gonna be billing for. Then after that, I gotta get a new washing machine water pump. You'll see this video sometime. Maybe you've already seen it. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it. But, uh, that's about it for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you've got questions, go watch the video that I'm gonna put on the handyman business that talks more about property management companies and that continuous line of work where they don't care that it's a TP holder. Well, we'll get into why they don't care that it's a TP holder. They don't care that it was just the stab connection at the back of the, the light switch. Go over there and I'm gonna enlighten you on why they pay so much and why they have been paying me for years. This one management company couldn't even be begin to try to count the number of projects, the money that they've paid me. Again, linked in the description, popping out here. Also, I will be linking past projects that I've done in this house so you can kind of see that I'm not full of shit and that yes, all my work comes from repeat customers. And this is just one house, one property. It's hot as hell in here. Fire it up. Get the air conditioner rolling in here. I'm gonna find the pipe punch into my GPS. Where I'm going next, and that's it. Goodbye.